There's that fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam, cause he's made to the call Well, Gareth, looks like a busy day on the mountain today. Oh, it will be, Sam. But there's nothing I like more than seeing the young whippersnappers enjoying the steam engine. Come on, Mandy. Ugh, what are you reading anyway? Touching the Peak by Moose Roberts, Ponty Pandy's very own mountaineer. All aboard, children. Yes, yes Mrs. Chen. Chen. Quick, Mandy. Have a good day, everyone. We will. is really good, Norman. I think I'd like to be a mountain climber. But you're too young to be a mountain climber, Mandy. I am not. I bet Moose lets me climb Ponty Pandy Mountain today, right up to the top. I bet he doesn't. Have you read the part where he leaps across the gorge in a raging blizzard wearing only a pair of shorts, Penny? Yes, sir. Now I'm on the part where he climbed the frozen rock face using only a butter knife. Oh, what a brave man. <laughs> Moose Roberts might be brave, but Fireman Sam is the bravest man in Ponty Pandy. Well, yes, yes, Cridlington, whatever you say. Hi, kids. Nice day to learn about climbing, eh? Yeah! I can't wait, Moose. Right then, let's get going. This is a traverse wall. And today you're gonna learn how to move across a rock face using just tiny places to hold on to or to put your feet. Not exactly Ponty Pandy Mountain, is it, Mandy? The secret is to keep your body close to the wall. Right then, who wants to go first? Me, 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 me! Okay, Mandy, off you go. And remember... I know, Moose. Keep my body close to the wall. Uh, there! Uh, so off. Now can I climb Ponty Pandy Mountain, please, Moose? Not yet, Mandy. You need to practice a bit more on the smaller things first. Right. Aww. Who's next? I don't think you'll get to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain today, Mandy. I will, Norman Price. You just wait and see. There, that should do it. Bring me down, Elvis. I bet Moose Roberts could climb that tower without even using a platform. But, it, well, maybe. But he wouldn't be able to put out a fire like Fireman Sam. No, Elvis. But Fireman Sam hasn't got an exciting book out about all his adventures. Oh, Benny, you've given me an idea. I'm going to write a book all about Fireman Sam's greatest rescues. <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of this. Wow! Oh. Uh. I'm not sure I like mountain climbing. I do. I love it. Well done, kids. You've done some great traversing today, eh? Now it's time for me to do a practice climb myself. Aww. Okay, now you've all got a bit of free time. You can either go and look around the activity center or maybe have your packed lunches. Okay, Mrs. Chen. Where are you going to do your practice climb, Moose? On the north face of Ponty Pandy Mountain. I climb there nearly every day. Wow. And you come back real soon, young lady. You're a natural born climber. I will. Thank you, Moose. Oh, I really want to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain too. And he did say I was a natural. Maybe if I caught up with Moose, he'd let me climb with him. So, Sam, I'm doing some research for my book. It's called Brave to the Core, and it's all about you. A book about me? 
Why would you write that, Elvis? It'll be a very short book. Oh, no, it won't, Sam. I'm going to write about all your bravest rescues. It'll be really exciting. And, um, oh, I could start with the time Norman got his foot stuck in a bucket. Well, I just got him to take his shoe off. It wasn't that exciting. Oh, I was hoping it would be. Oh, but don't worry, Sam. I'll think of some really brave things you've done. <laughs> Lost him! Moose! Moose! Where are you? It looks like the only way is up! I've got it, Sam! I've got it! What about the time you rescued Dolly from the training tower? But that was just a practice, Elvis. Nothing brave about that. Oh. Firefighter Morris! I've just read the bit where Moose climbed Ice Mountain with three toothpicks and a bottle cap. And he did it all by himself. I know. What a brave, brave man. Oh, if only I could remember some of Sam's really brave rescues. Oh, dear. I really wish I hadn't done this. <sighs> now what am I going to do? Whoa! Whew. That was a close one, eh? Thank you, Moose. I was in real danger then. I think we still are, Mandy. What? Well, I could climb down from here no problem. But it would be too dangerous to take you as well. Oh, no. Well, it's time to go. I wonder where Mandy is. Mandy? Mandy Flood? Uh, she said she wanted to climb Ponzi Pandy Mountain, Mrs. Chen. <gasps> Maybe she's gone up there. Oh, dear. I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll head back to Ponty Pandy to pick him up. Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> Got a missing child on Ponty Pandy Mountain, Tom. Roger that. Found them on the north face, Tom. I'm on my way. Lower the double harness, Tom. See you at the bottom, Sam. There you go, Mandy. Safe and sound. But I don't think you should go mountain climbing on your own again. The mountains are a very dangerous place. I'm sorry, Sam. I just really wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain. Well, I think you need a bit more practice first. I know, Sam. But don't you worry, Mandy. You'll make it one day. And I'll give you lessons anytime you want. No problem. Thanks, Moose. Oh, well, I'm glad everyone's OK. <sighs> I bet Moose saved the day and did something really brave. No, Elvis. I couldn't save Mandy. I was just the helper. Fireman Sam was the real hero. <laughs> well, I, I don't know about that, Mandy. Oh, great! I've got my first rescue for my book. <laughs> All right, chapter one, The Daring Mountain Rescue. <laughs> now, tell me everything that happened. Sam is the hero now. 